Well, good morning, YouTubers. It is I, the big, big, big D. That's right, big D here. Now, for all of you who are new, please hit the subscribe button. Help a buddy out, man. Hit the subscribe button. Come on, man. It won't hurt. And while you're there, hit the little bell thingy thing. It doesn't bite. That's right, it won't bite you either. So once you hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell thing, like the video. And if you're a big loser, don't like the video. Share the video to people you like and share it to people you don't like. I'm just not proud. I've talked about this more than once and today you're gonna get to see it. I talk about, if you're gonna get in this industry, you best be able to sit at parking lots and you know, truck stops. I've been here since now it's 9.30, oh, I see that or not, 9.37 a.m. Here it's 8.37. That's back on home time Eastern, I'm in Central. So it's 8.37 a.m. I got here at about 2.30 p.m. yesterday. And I have been sitting here ever since. Now it's not too bad right now. I'm in Houston, Texas. That's right, Houston, Texas. So the it, it's you know it's in the low 60s, so it's nice and cool. Yesterday it was not that cool. But I talk about sitting in parking lots and not going to be batshit crazy. Or what you're going to see, and well, here's the view, folks. There's a Sprinter there and a V3 over on the other side of it. There was a uh, camel stop that got out of here. Had a nice load lined up yesterday, and it canceled. Yeah, that was a good one, too. But that's part of the game. And uh, we've been floundering here ever since. But today's Saturday, and uh, hopefully, hopefully it'll get better. So, you know, what do you do during this time? Well, laundry. I don't have any laundry to do, so I don't have to worry about that. Not yet, at least. Uh, clean up your van. And I'm big on this. So I'm going to show you. All right. Oops. Get out of the van here. I might even do a tour of Bucky's down here. <laughs> yeah, you can see the area. It's this one. Yeah, it, it's exciting. But you get up. First thing you do, make up your bed. Now you'll see that in the center of the bed, you'll see a bungee cord. That's because when you're driving along, that stuff wants to shift off, so I put a bungee cord over it to keep it in place. But the floor's been swept. She's ready to load and go. See the broom hanging there. So, get your van ready. And I'll tidy up the front end a little bit here shortly. But, as you can hear the noise, you best get used to sleeping with some noise too. Because it's not always gonna be, you know, picture perfect quiet where you're sitting at. Just remember that. Now, what am I gonna do today? Well, I hope to get a load. But if I don't, I'll just go around and see the sights and, you know, stuff like that. I'll clean up the front of the van. A little messy seat there but uh that's what you do when you have some time now if you come out here believe it or not there are some loads that are now requiring your cove uh proof of vaccination i'm just telling you and with biden's new mandate who knows how that's going to go but I had mine and uh, already done, so I'm not worried about it. So you can look around. Yeah, yeah. Exciting times here, folks. Exciting times. What can I tell you? I mean, I've been here for 12, 7, 19 hours. Yeah sitting down here for 19 hours now the load i did earlier 
that took me into Dallas. Uh, the load from hell, as I call it. And I'm going to tell you why. And you're going to deal with this crap. Nothing's perfect out here, but you're going to deal with this kind of crap. Picked up the load in Nashville, took it to Dallas. Got in there at 11.30 that night. I'm being tracked on Macro Point. I show that I have arrived. About 7.30, I get a call. Where are you at? I'm, in the I'm sitting in front of the door. <laughs> well, the, uh, the, sh the broker wants to know where you're at. It's on his computer. He's so damn sorry. He won't even look at his own damn computer. You know. I watch your ETA. 7.30 in the morning. Now, the protect time is 1 p.m. And the reason I'm bringing this up is that you're going to basically see what I mean about brokers being pains in the asses. Just a thought. So, at 7.30, he's all concerned, or she is, where I'm at. 7.30. You know. <laughs> right. Now, at 9.30, when no one's there, the corporate office doesn't even know if they're open. There's a stack of mail. looks like it's inside the door. It's no one's been there for a week. And the corporate office can't guarantee anybody's even coming in. Here's the broker's tune now. Just tell your driver to be patient. They've got to one o'clock, maybe somebody will show up. Excuse me, maybe they'll show up? I got two skids back there. Maybe they'll show up? Really? Oh my God, they have a contact number. They can call that contact number and find out what the hell's going on. He's worried to death at 7.30. I'm not gonna get in there quick enough. And now is, oh, be patient. Be patient. You got to one o'clock. Well, why are you waking me up at 7.30 then? Be patient. Well, the story gets better. <laughs> yeah. A girl must have been 80 pounds sloppy wet, four foot, left, four foot five maybe. Uh, she shows up and she's trying to get in at 9.30, 10 o'clock or somewhere. Well, it's one of those, you know, you put your card up and the door opens. It's not working. She calls somebody else, and about 20 minutes later, he shows up. But he has to get in, but he gets in. Hot damn. We're going to get this stuff off. Fine. You know, now this is the same place that said, send the picture once loaded. They put the kids on the national, took the picture. Send it over. I'm doing the paperwork, get the BOL, get the net sent over so we can see it and everything. Now they want a picture of it strapped down. Well, why didn't you ask for the picture of it strapped down? Because I took the picture, sent it in. I'm doing all this other stuff. And, uh, you know, trying to speed this process up. And, you know, I've got the strap down. I'm going to get out and take a picture of it strapped down. It took me 40 minutes after being loaded to be, get the old head, go ahead and leave. Because in this place, it's just that, this broker is just that big of a pain in the ass. Another way to put it. 40 minutes. Now, you go to unload. I take the picture. I mean, the girl goes. It's an overhead garage door in the back of the building. She opens it up. The garage is stacked to the ceiling. She just set a jerk from the door. Okay. So I did. Stacked it up nice and neat because I had to hand the load this stuff. So I stacked it up. Take the picture. Send it in. I get this. They need You need to take the BOL back in and get a signature saying it was okay to unload it outside. I have a I have a BOL that says the the receiver has received it in great condition, and it's now their responsibility. But I got to go back in and take another hoop to jump through. I walked up and I told her, and she looked at me like, "Are you kidding me? What?" She was so pissed that her signature and printed name on the copies of receiving it were really nice. Yeah. On that copy, it wasn't so nice. She just scribbled her name on there and said, screw them. They got a problem, they can call me. This is ridiculous, which it was. It was ridiculous. And, you know, I you know, I told her, you know, look, I'm just doing it. She goes, I know it's not you. You've done everything I've asked. But that's just ridiculous. It even make you do this. So I got to send the pictures back in again and sit. Yeah, that's right. Sit some more time. I was sitting there for about 35 minutes. 
they get to go ahead and leave. Yeah. Now you know what brokers are like. They don't give a crap. I got awarded the uh, load yesterday. It was a good one here. Going to uh, northern Nevada. Paid great. 1,800 miles. And I'm sitting in the front seat, ready to go. Just waiting for the address. And they said, well, we're going to fly instead. They've awarded the load. Now they're going to fly it. It's brokers. Just so what you know what you're going to deal with out here. You know, they will basically tell you it's an ASAP pickup. You get to the shipper. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. You run over there. Great. And they, you find out it's a 2 o'clock pickup. <coughs> oh, there was having a little difficulty. No, that's the way it was set up. They just lied. That's what it was. But, you know, hey. So, you know, yesterday was a total cluster, in my opinion. It was a cluster crapper. I can think of a better word for it, but I'm not going to put it on here. So, you know. And then, you know, to get to sit here the whole day was even better. Icing on the cake. All because of a broker who just doesn't give a flying rat's ass. And that's what it was about. And they're in a big hurry. It's 7.30 a.m., but when the issue is they, we can't get them off. Well, you know, then it's like, what happens if they don't show up? Well, I'm not going to sit there with two skids in Dallas over the weekend for $100 a night if I get that. That ain't going to happen. They're going to have to cross dock it. I don't care what they do with it because there's no guarantee Monday they're going to be. That meant Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, before that. No, not happening. Not happening. So, you know... These are what you're going to put up with out here. I mean, everybody thinks that, you know, hey, everything runs smooth. You drive in, you pick up, you leave. All's good, you know, expediting land. Well, no, it's not. What I went through yesterday is not that uncommon. So if you don't have patience, being out here is basically not a good thing. <laughs> if you can't sit here for hours, do absolutely nothing, which is what I'm doing. This may not be the job for you. That's why I tell you to go to a truck stop and sit. And see if you can stand it. Sit in your car. And you'll notice the car's not idling. Never idled since I got here. When I shut it down, it shut down. Because you're just going to wear your gear. You don't carry your vehicle. You can't do that. Just remember, this engine cools better when, it's, when you're driving down the road. Not when you're sitting still. No wind coming over the radiator, folks. The band works. Like I said, you've got to basically take care of your, your, your equipment. Now, that being said, as you can see, in the last 13 minutes, not much has changed here, has it? Nope. So, what am I going to do today? I'll probably find your Harbor Freight and go to a RV. be here to Monday. So that would be Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So just let me you know what this can be like. And you know, if that happens, it just tanked the week. So, you know, get an idea what happens to me. People are like, so you just sit to Monday, big deal. Well, you just tanked your week because Monday's the last day of the week. And uh, Monday to Monday, tanks the week so you know if I get out of here I'll have a decent week if I don't it's going to be crap just that simple so the life of expediting when you're moving it's great when you're sitting it sucks if you can't sit don't be here if this doesn't drive you batshit crazy you're an expediter big D saying always be ready to roll get your sleep and uh, let's go make some monies later